What's up guys, it's me Jamar, Remnant Outdoors. Hope you're doing great today. I know I haven't posted in a couple of months, but I have a pretty good excuse. My wife and I found out we were pregnant with our third baby, and so we've been scrambling, trying to get everything right for him. That's right, it's boy. If you guys have not, please check out our gender reveal that we did. We did that a couple of weeks ago now, I guess. I'll put a link in the description. And what I wanted to do is actually talk about how to do that. I spent hours scouring the internet. I wanted to make sure that like I did it the right way. I saw a lot of videos that weren't done very greatly. And then I saw some that were done really good. And I said, I want to do my Tannerite gender reveal the right way. I want to be explosive and all those other superlatives. So I'm gonna walk you through how we did it, how I recommend you do it so you don't run into the pitfalls of other people who tried Tannerite and powdered chalk and making a good explosion. Uh, we don't want you to buy too much tannerite. We don't want you to buy too little and have the ratios kind of screwed up and everything like that. Or we don't want you to cause a fire and get in trouble in your local jurisdiction. So let's go ahead and give you a great step-by-step -step DIY how I would recommend you to do it. Let's do it. All right, so step one, the first thing you want to do is check the local laws in your area to ensure that it's legal to shoot binary targets, AKA Tannerite. Some states like California and Maryland require explosive licenses to do so. Uh, part B of this step is to then ensure that you have the authority and permission of a landowner to conduct your explosive gender reveal. So that's the first step. Next, decide on the amount of tannerite and colored chalk you want. This step is obviously pretty important. Everybody wants a big plume of color, but you really need to get your ratios right. I did a test run before we did the actual shoot. I did my test run actually a couple of years ago before the twins were born. Um, but a ratio too high in chalk will result in color particles not traveling very far. And likewise, too much tannerite in this ratio will cause the plume to have a large orange tint as it burns. And you want to kind of have the best of both worlds. So the actual chalk travels pretty far. It's a nice big boom and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. After a little trial and error, I believe a good ratio is five pounds of colored chalk for every two pounds of tannerite. If you really, really want to, you can go down to five pounds of colored chalk for every one pound of tannerite. I probably wouldn't go much lower than that. In my test run, I used five pounds of chalk with four pounds of tannerite. It turned out to be okay. Um, I used 10 pounds of colored chalk with the same four pounds of tannerite for the actual gender reveal. So you can kind of judge which one was better. They're both shot at 100 yards. Step three is to buy the Tannerite either online or in store. If you already know the gender of your baby, then you can simply just buy pink or blue from the link in the description. Uh, that company has been around for a couple of years, so that link should still work for whenever you're going and clicking on this video. However, if you don't know the gender and someone else will be entrusted in getting the correct color out there for you, uh, you can either buy both. So you can either buy two five pound bags or two 10 pound bags of the blue and the pink, or you just tell them, hey, you know, here's some money on your own account so we don't see it. You go ahead and buy it on your own account. Uh, once you receive the Tannerite and color chalk, Tannerite, uh, I think they do sell it on their website. I just went into Academy and I was able to get it from the local Academy here. But once you get your Tannerite and colored chalk, step four is to pick out a box for the Tannerite and chalk to be housed in. Keep in mind, Tannerite is typically recommended to be shot at about 100 yards away. So try to find something that holds your target mix in a configuration that makes it easy to hit. Step five is to mix the Tannerite per the instructions in the product and place them inside of a container or a Ziploc bag. Uh, I chose to use <laughs> a big like loaf of bread bag because you could kind of configure like that type of a bag how you want to to where the surface area is larger than just like putting it in a little small container or whatever. Um, that way uh, it ensures that you're going to strike it and hit it on the first shot. Also, you may want to put your colored chalk in individual bags. That's what I did. I used like five Ziploc bags for my trial run and kind of made like a little bridge over the Tannerite. Once I put my mixed Tannerite in the box, I would then put the bridge of five Ziploc colored chalk bags 
over them. You don't have to do it this way. If you have multiple bags or your bag is like a really long bag that you order from online, in the actual gender reveal, the bags that we bought were like so long, we just decided to leave them in there instead of taking them out and pouring them into separate Ziploc bags. So you just kind of use what works for you. Um, it's great if it's already configured the way you need to in a long bag, then you just kind of make a bridge with those two bags or one bag or how many bags you're going to use. Once you got your combo in the box, make sure you mark where the center of the Tannerite is so that you know where to aim when you're shooting it. If you want to decorate your box or place the box containing the combo in a larger box, now's the time to do so. We had a little box that we put in the final gender reveal. We had a box that this all went in and then we put a decorated box that my wife wanted to decorate. On the outside, we just slipped that over the top. Uh, for our trial run, we just used the box that the chalk came in. Step six is to set your explosive target out 100 yards and grab an accurate rifle 223 caliber and above. Unless you bought the 22 caliber specific Tannerite, anything lower than a 22 won't have enough velocity to activate the mixed catalyst. You may want to take a practice shot or two to ensure that you don't embarrass yourself like we talked about before and just to make sure that you are uh, grouping reasonably accurately and that your rifle is you know, tuned in to the bullseye at 100 yards. Lastly, get a steady shooting setup, take aim, and let it rip. Congratulations on the latest addition to your family, and may the Lord bless you all. There is some of the remnants of the paper bag in a lot of places, so that is something that you're gonna have to pick up and maybe spend a little time doing. As far as the actual chalk, that stuff washes out, so when the first rain comes, this will be gone. Um, it'd be probably preferable because there is a little bit, I would say like a too deep, at most, indentation in the ground. It'd be preferable to put this on like a stump or something, but the only problem with that is you don't want those splintering everywhere. So you definitely, if you're going to have this up on anything, it really needs to be back. Uh, everybody needs to be back 100 yards or more, minimum, I would recommend. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs down. We are gonna be pumping out more content. I feel like I say that a lot, but we do have a lot of stuff filmed. It was just that with my baby boy coming and my wife and all that stuff, we just had all sorts of crazy things going on and I couldn't get in front of the computer enough time to get a good content roll out, but now I will. Hope you guys be blessed. Stay safe. We'll talk soon. Peace out.